Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and back here over on the Xbox 360 here, one of my favorite consoles to cover, but this here is going to be for a pretty specific problem. This is going to be if you have a Corona motherboard for the Xbox 360, and on top of that, you've tried to play a few rhythm games, specifically here, Rock Band or Dance Central titles, and they seem to have an infinite loading issue. Thankfully, there is a pretty quick fix for this here, thanks to a plugin, and what we're going to do is we're going to be installing that plugin, and I'm going to show you all how you can fix that for your Rock Band and Dance Central games. Now, to cover a few prerequisites here, this specifically is really only going to be for fixes for people with Corona motherboards, and specifically modified Corona motherboard consoles. If you're running a completely stock Corona motherboard, you cannot follow this tutorial unless you do a hard mod on your system, which would be a RGH or reset glitch hack. Now, if you're wanting a simpler fix than getting your system modified, honestly, get any other motherboard of the Xbox 360. Get a trendy motherboard if you want a slim, or get something like a Reliable Falcon or a Jasper if you want a fat system. That is going to be the easiest fix. But if you have a Corona motherboard and it has been modified, Thankfully, you should be able to apply this fix here and it would work. Now, as an example, what I'm talking about is in Rock Band 2 here. If you go to Quick Play and you try to load up any song on here, as an example, I'll just go ahead and do this. You'll come over here to the loading screen. Unfortunately, it will just stay at this loading screen and you will not be able to exit out unless you end up just exiting the game itself. You can stay here for 20 seconds, 30 seconds, five minutes, and you will not be able to pass this screen. So if you have run into this issue on your console, this is going to be the fix for you as long as you have a hard modded system. It's also worth mentioning here that when I test this, I noticed that I was able to load just fine on the first Rock Band. However, Rock Band 2 and beyond, those ones seem to have this infinite loading issue. So if you want to give this fix a shot here, you're going to need a few prerequisites. First of all, you're of course going to need the Rock Band games that are causing issues here, or if you plan to play them in the future, this is still going to apply just fine. You're also of course going to need your Xbox 360 that has already been RGH modified, and it must be for the Corona console here. If you do not have a Corona motherboard, then you do not need to apply this fix at all. And that can actually be verified by coming over to Dash Launch and opening this up. And when you open up Dash Launch, look in the bottom right hand corner, and you're going to verify your board, which which is going to be a Corona, and you also need to verify your kernel type, which is going to be 17559, because this specific fix is only currently for the latest dashboard at the time of recording this here. So if you are on a lower kernel, you are going to need to update your dashboard. I do have a video covering that, so I'll have it linked down below in the description if you want to follow along. Either way, we're also going to need a way to download and transfer a file to our console, so it would be recommended to have a computer and a USB drive on hand. With all that being said, I'm going to grab my USB drive and let's go ahead and move over to our PC. This fix will be linked down below in the description, but it's by Invoxy Plays Games, and this is called Corona Keys Fix Plugin. Now, it's just a simple plugin that we need to download here. It states that this will fix the audio playback issues and the eternal loading bug on Corona modified systems. And as I said, this only works with kernel dashboard version 17559, which is why it is important to verify that. It's also worth mentioning here for anybody who might be asking what about the Guitar Hero games or any other rhythm games, when I'd reached out to them, they actually replied and stated, this fix is specific to Rock Band and Dance Central because the way the firmware is patched on Corona, specific to RGH, means the correct decryption key can't be made. Whereas the Guitar Hero games break because X80 Coder runs slower, it can be fixed by using MP3s. So we're not going to be covering the other rhythm games here, but if you're trying to fix up your Rock Band and Dance Central games, this should work for you. To get onto the fix itself, you can navigate over to the releases section, and there's going to be one file we need, which is coronakeysfix.xex. Just go ahead, download this latest build of it, and save it somewhere you can easily find it. I have a USB drive plugged in here, which actually has my Rock Band games, but it will need to be formatted to FAT32 already. And once it is formatted here, we can just go into the USB drive and copy over the Corona Keys Fix executable. 
Once that's been copied over, exit out, right click, eject your USB drive, take it over to your console. Back over at the console, plug in your USB drive and let's go ahead and get that transferred over and set up. Now, you'll need something such as Aurora Freestyle XEX Menu to modify and transfer files over and create folders. It should be easy enough here, we just need a file manager, but if you're using Aurora like myself, you can press the back button on the controller, go to the file manager, and over here, we're going to go to our USB drive, grab the Corona Keys Fix.executable, navigate over to the left, and we're going to select copy. Now let's change over to the system section by hitting the right bumper. And over here, we're going to transfer this to the internal hard drive. So this will be HDD1. And you can create a new folder here if you want to. I'm going to call this one plugins. Just keep it simple and sweet. Once that's been created, we can go ahead and go in here and we can come over to the left and paste. Say yes. And we transferred over that executable. Now let's go ahead, exit out of here. And now we need to launch dash launch. So go ahead, fire this up. We now need to add this as a plugin. So scroll down to the plugin section and tap A to open this up. Now in any of your plugins sections here, as you can see, I don't have any. So I'm going to set this as plugin one, tap the A button, go over to HDD. You can go into your plugins folder, grab the Corona keys fix executable, tap A, and that has been saved. Now tap the right bumper, and come over to wherever your configuration is saved. Mine is saved to the HDD, and then tap the X button. It's now been saved. Now tap the RB button and go down and quit. Once that's been set up, there's not going to be any difference yet, but just to be safe and secure here, we can go ahead and power cycle our console completely. So go ahead, turn off the console, and then turn it back on. Now, once your console reboots, we should be all good to go. So you can go ahead and launch your problematic Rock Band game, which in my case here is Rock Band 2. Now that we're here, I'm not trying to make a singing career here. I just need to make sure that this technically works. So I'm going to go into solo quick play and really just pick any type of song here. Let's go ahead, pick this. We're going to do medium. And you should see if the plugin is working, it should load in. But as opposed to staying at this loading screen here, after a proper amount of time, we should be able to actually get in game. And there we go. As you can see, we were able to load in here for the first time, maybe for anybody who might be giving this a shot and playing this. So if this did work for you, congratulations, you're now able to play all the Rock Band and Dance Central games successfully on your Corona motherboard RGH modded Xbox 360. I really hope this helps out, and again, a big shout out and thank you to Invoxy Plays Games for developing this plugin here. It's made it super easy, and I'm sure a lot of people who've been wanting to play these games on a hard modded system will have a really fun time with this. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.